Hello, welcome to another demo of Project Mix. This is a music game that is all node-based, real-time in Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna go ahead and hit space and fire it away. Okay, so that is all of the different layers uh, that I've played. That's four layers that you just saw. So we have zero, one, two, and three. All can switch on the fly. I will also demonstrate here that we can change the tempo. I will go to like a 145 or something. All right, so now I'm gonna go over some of the basics of Project Mix, what we can do with the nodes now in its current state. Everything that you see UI-wise is pretty much uh, going to get revised so that it's a little bit easier to, to use and play. I guess so we can start off with the visuals. So the first thing you'll notice is that each of the nodes has this really cool 2D fluid sim around it. If I move it around, you can see it'll actually update the, the fluid sim real time. This is something that I think kind of adds to a galactic like ethereal feel and when we activate a node, so if I activate this one, you can see that there is a, a visual representation of light actually interacting with it. It's very fake, but kind of works. Also around the node, you'll notice that the bands act, reflect what sound is actually playing. So over here, it's a little different. From here, we can move nodes around. We can select them, copy them, delete them, we can delete the actual links, we can change the timing of the links as well. So I can go in here, if I set things to zero, you'll see that the links themselves will play at the same time. But some of the coolest things that we can do is actually update the way that the sound feels. So if I wanted to add a little bit more attack to the sound, you can see now this first one will fade in. And I'm doing this by adding these, these different uh, modulation nodes down here to the stack. Uh, we can add some LFO, which is <laughs> always fun. We can also adjust the start time. So if I add a bunch of these, it'll change how long it takes before the sound to start. This is useful for something like this, where we have the same type of chord setup. However, these have start pluses on them uh, afterwards. So if I activate this, you can hear like it'll go bring, kind of fun. Other things that are really cool with the modulation system is to do things like panning. We can kind of fake a delay effect. If we go here, um, 
and play this. If you're on a phone, you won't hear it, but it's essentially ping pong from right ear to left ear. So the first is in the middle, then it goes to pan right, then pan left, and then we kind of dip the volume a little bit, then back to pan right with two volume uh, adjustments. And that gives it a nice delayed fade effect. I think it's pretty cool. Next, and kind of the last really neat feature that's, uh, that's new with this system is the ability to add filtering. So if I play this, you can kind of hear the first one does like a um, and then if I adjust it, I can make it even a little bit more prominent so that way you can really tell it's happening. So now to go. So you can hear like that type sound. <laughs> Some other stuff I didn't really touch on is the starters. So when I hit space, the starters will actually automatically go. Uh, this is what activates everything. Every four beats, it'll activate, and I can control kind of like the pattern. You'll see that links have a little bit of a pattern to them. Some of them do. So if I play this one, you'll see it'll switch between the two different links. This is because the different links are hooked up in a way that they have opposite patterns. So this one activates on one, but then skips two. This one will skip one and activate on two. One of the other nodes is the layer switchers themselves. So these um, currently control what layer they're on. And then if I go here, I can control which layer they actually switch to. So I can set this one to actually switch to four instead. And we can go back and we can switch it back. So that way it's correct. Um, this will switch to three. It's on layer two. We'll go to, go to three. And then the actual switching of layers is something you can control at the bottom, which is useful for just bouncing around a bit. Any nodes can be shifted over to different layers, but before I do that, let's take a look at the the beats themselves, the actual drum kits. The drum kits are a little bit more unified now, so there's 16 sounds in a drum kit, and this is designed in a way so that later I can swap out which drums they use. And that's something also to note is that you can swap out the sound of something on the fly pretty easily. So if I go over here, I can change this to a synth and play it. <laughs> that sounds wonderful and totally what I wanted it to sound like. Let's go to one that I didn't screw up. There we go. Um, back to the beats, the drum kits have the ability to control their patterns in a different way. So we can go ahead and I'll, I'll just represent this. We'll go ahead and we'll mess around with a, a, a newer beat from scratch here. I it won't take too long. I just want to show kind of how this stuff is even modified. So if I change the layer over, let's go to let's go to like a new layer, layer six. I'll connect this together. We'll hit space, um, and we'll see this will activate now. And I'll change the pattern so that it activates all the time. Now every four beats, it'll activate this uh, this drum. And if I copy this, we can go ahead and switch the links. What, they're, what it's linked to, so that way now we have two of them. I'll switch this one over to kind of like a, a snare. Little little quick snare. We'll change, uh, we'll take like the pitch and the length off of it, and then I'll go back to the pattern, update it. Right away, we're starting to get some sort of beat. And I'll do the same thing again, and we'll get some hi-hats in here. We'll do There we go. I can change the volume of each of the pattern pieces. You'll see when I do that, it changes how long the different uh, pieces are. And now we have something pretty simple. We can go ahead and copy this over. And then from here, we can change this to be a piano. I'll turn I'll turn off the pattern because it's kind of weird if you keep the pattern on with a piano, but I can change this over now to a piano sound. Oh, it's getting pretty uh, dark in here. And then something that's really interesting, which I'll improve on this in the future too, but right now I can go ahead and if I click on any node, I can control it with MIDI and I'll go ahead and play uh, a couple notes here. And we'll just go ahead and we'll play something. So if we wanted to make a chord like this right now, the gist is I have to select each one and then go and hit the record button and then I'll hit a button to, uh, I'll hit the, the key that I want it to be. And then now it'll, 
cool. And then from here, I can copy. So we'll copy these a few times. All right, so now I've set this up, so. Nice and simple, we'll connect these together and then I'll test it out before I... Cool. We have our four chord. You know, the most basic of chords, but hey, this is something that is set up real quick. From here, we can start branching to make it a little bit more interesting. So this is how we do something like this. We'll um, add some delay to that. So we have a, a little bit of a melody going on now, which is kind of fun. Then from here, we can add another layer. I'll just copy this starter over just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then from here, I'll grab this and link this up, flip it over. And then we'll change this to synth one. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a bass line. I think I can extend the time that it, it lasts for. It's the same. I'm just having fun now. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I think this is a good place to end. And I hope you enjoyed just kind of where Project Mix is at at the moment. Maybe I'll have an update within the next six months. <laughs> leave a comment below tell me tell me what you think if you are interested in updates if you want to be a part of some sort of uh, future type testing group please follow me on twitter i'll do all the announcements there and yeah like subscribe and uh and have a good rest of your day